all change starts with an awareness, an awareness that change is possible, or an awareness that I'm caught in a rut. And the reality model asks the question of you and I, will what we're in right now serve our needs over time? And if the answer is no, then we need new tools. And this process will bring you tools. This is the most powerful information on change available in this country. Somebody's always trying to change us. You know, there's concept that, you know, people get threatened because they think they're going to be brainwashed and, and all this kind of darn stuff. See, change is a do-it-yourself process. Nobody's going to change you and ain't nobody going to change me. But you can provide people new tools that they can use to change themselves. So you got to be able to get through that lockout process. This should be a fun exercise for you. It's workshops that you get involved in after the sessions will give you additional insights. The facilitators will be able to bridge the gap between where you are and where you might want to be and give you ideas on how to bridge that gap. Now the second tendency we have, if you get through the lockout process, we start thinking of all the other people we know that need it. You know, so I always encourage people that go through this kind of stuff to take a lot of notes. If you don't take the notes for yourself, take them for those people you know that need it. So I used to do a program for leadership where they'd have people come in for a 10-day course, two weeks, and a lot of people would bring their spouse. And I would come in to do a day of that, and I've had people at the first break go out, go out and get on the house phone and call their spouses up in the room. Say, get down here. The guy's talking about you. Now, what we're really saying in that thought process is I'm okay the way that I am. If I could just get other people to shape up. Now, this is a do-it-yourself program. This is a do-it-yourself project. Look at it like a smorgasbord. We're going to lay out concepts and techniques that are absolutely relevant, that are the most powerful in the world that you could get access to. And if it looks like something might help you, take some notes. Apply it. See, just having an intellectual understanding of it doesn't work. I've been now now for about 12 years, going on 12 years. A little, something probably a little bit different about myself that I should throw in here. Right now I'm doing life without parole sentence. You know, I got busted in 1987 for a murder and a drug deal that went bad. Ended up getting a death sentence. Sat on death row for two and a half years. Two and a half years, you got a lot of time to think. That two and a half years, I kept thinking, how did I get here? You know, I'm a good person. I care about other people. I care about helping others. But the whole time I was thinking about caring about this, when I was on the streets, I was selling drugs, ruining lives rather than helping lives. And I started thinking, I could, right there, I started having a little bit of a profound revelation. And it was. I can believe this about myself, or I can think this about myself, that I'm a good person, but I've, I never display that action. How can anybody else know that? <laughs>